you guys hear that? Silence! Silence. Uh, kids are at school. That's right, plural. Kids. All three of them are at school. Uh, hi, welcome back. It is, what is today? Monday, January 9th, 2017. It's a little bit after 10. Kids are at school. Kids, all three kids. Kids are at school. We've had such a busy almost month since I have checked in. I probably should have gone and looked at my last video. And I didn't. And I'm going by really poor notes that I took before my last video. So um, let's just go right into a little what have I been up to. So I've been up to stuff and things. Stuff and things. I remember talking a little bit about potty training. Um, Archer went through this crash course potty training. I call it crash course just because I was pretty intense about it. Um, so that he could go to school. I mean, he could go to school. The, a requirement of his classroom wasn't that he be potty trained, but it was time anyway. So that was so many tears. I think I remember saying this. So many tears, most of them mine. But I'm happy to say that as of today, he's great, mostly there. You know, it takes time and not having a stubborn child. So anyway, so he's doing that. He started school last Tuesday and he uh, goes for three hours, four days a week. Um, they didn't have school on Monday. That was still their winter break. So. He has done wonderfully. The school bus comes and gets him. He gets on the bus like a big boy. He's three, people. He is three. He just turned three on January 2nd. He's been three for one week. And the day after his third birthday, he went to school. I still just can't believe it. The only thing that I think that kept me from crying all that day was the fact that Axel was home with me in the morning. <laughs> so... I didn't have time for all that emotional nonsense. So we've been doing that. Uh, Christmas was great. Um, everybody in the family got hit with some type of bug right before Christmas. AJ came home on um, his last day of school um, after swim practice. Came home, was fine. By midnight, he was throwing up all over the place. Not all over the place because he's 15, so he, kn he knows where he needs to throw up. But... That sucked. And then two days later, it was Axel going, I don't, bleh. <laughs> that was that. And then a day later, Archer got a really bad cold. And then a day after that, my husband was really not feeling that great. That man slept for like 22 hours straight, I think. Yeah, it, it was almost a full 24 hours. It was ridiculous. And then like two days after that, I felt really horrible. But I didn't have time to be sick because we were hosting our family Christmas on the 23rd. So, so much for that. But my husband was really helpful during that time where I just was not having it. So that happened. And then there was Christmas and that was great. And then there was New Year's and that was wonderful. And then there was school starting. And now here we are. I've gotten a lot of stitching done, which is really nice. I'm really working to find my new normal um, with the kids both gone for a time in the morning almost every day. Four days a week. I have no children for three hours. You find out how long three hours is and how short it is, depending on how much time you, how much stuff you try to cram in there. So I'm working on it. Um, almost all of my stitching is done at night, even when I'm home alone, I'm finding, which has only been for a couple days, I have so much stuff to do around the house that I, uh, it's not happening. So, oh, I'm also, one thing that I decided to do, um, mid-December, mid to later December, is I'm getting up early. Generally, I would get up like around 7 and then the kids would almost automatically get up or they would wake me up and then it would be constantly reacting to children and, eh, and feed me and 
I need some chocolate milk, and can you give me the blue Kindle, and can I watch Storybots, and blah, 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 and like, ah! So I started getting up um, about maybe 10 days before Christmas, maybe even two weeks before Christmas, I started getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning. And that way I had anywhere from half an hour to an hour maybe of time by myself before kids got up and got demanding. It has worked wonders. I can make my coffee. I can sit down and stitch. I can look at my computer. I can watch a short floss tube video. And it really centers me for the day. It really does. Like, I'm tired. Trust. <laughs> but just having at least 30 minutes to, like, not listen to the, to the noise of life, fabulous. I'm thinking about upping it to 5.30. This morning I got up at 4.30. 4.30 a.m. because AJ had swim practice at 5.30. Mm -hmm. 5.30 practices for the next month. Weight room. He wasn't that excited, but it's okay. He got there. Um, okay, so let's get started. I have three finishes to show you, I think. I got another two finishes in the last part of December, and I have my first finish for January. I have a couple things that I've been working on. I have some December stash haul that I got. Let me tell you, I posted this in Stitch from Stash yesterday. I didn't check my mail for three days last week. Like, I totally forgot because I know I'm not getting any packages. So sad. But I should be getting one this week because I did spend my monthly budget on a really fabulous chart. I'm so excited about it. But I don't have it, so you can't see it. I'll have to wait until next time. So let's get going. Um, finishes. I really have to put my finishes downstairs. Um, I... Let me open up my little stitchy calendar. Look at this December stitchy calendar. Woohoo! So I finished Peking Santa on the 20th, which I know is after um, my last video. So here he is. Peking Santa. All done. He's so cute. Guys, is he not? Um, it was a kit... I threw away everything. It was a kit from Walmart. It was like a $4 kit that I've had forever. I know somebody just mentioned, to, not just, but somebody mentioned to me that they actually found the kit. I don't know where. I don't know how much. Um, I think it's called Santa Peking. I keep calling it Peking Santa, but it's called Santa Peking Designs by the Needle, I think it's from. Anyway, I used all kit floss except for for the sparkly bits. I don't know if you can see those right there. Um, it was supposed to be a strand of white floss and a strand of blending filament. I threw all the blending filament away because it looked plasticky and gross. And I couldn't figure out why I had so much white thread left. And then it, it dawned on me. So I used um, a Krynic opalescent braid. I would say if I had to do it over again, I would have used one strand of white and one strand of the Krynic blending filament because it looks kind of weird close up, but it's fine. And then instead of uh, French knots, I used little beads. So cute. There was floss left over. Um, in addition to the white that I didn't use, there was floss left over and I did run out of this color right here and subbed a DMC color um, that was in the chart, which looked a little different. And I wasn't sure if it was because it was the DMC or if it was because this kit was over 10 years old and maybe it faded, even though I don't put it in the sun. I don't know. Anyway, done. Then on the 24th, so four days later on Christmas Eve, I finished my Luna Love Good Outfits. This is a pattern from Clouds Factory. It is stitched on a 28 count Jobelin. Sure, I think so. 28 count Jobelin 
from pole stitches. It was one of, it was a grab bag piece with all DMC. It was so cute. I only had this Luna left in the letters and then like the back stitching up here in the sneakers. So it was quick. Well, it was three days of stitching, so it wasn't that quick, but I finished that. Um, and then for January, I gotta switch to my January list. See my January list? <laughs> um, oh, and then I closed it. I finished, when did I finish the peacock feather? Hold on. I'm so out of it. I really need to make some things, some bookmarks. Um, I finished this on the 7th, so just two days ago. This is my first finish for the uh, monthly magazine stitch along on Facebook and Instagram. I will link it below. Uh, Heather Stitches. And Cross My Stitch Susan are putting it on. So here it is. This is from Just Cross Stitch 2013. I will say maybe 2015. I don't remember. I'm sure if you just Google Peacock Feather Eyeglass Case, that's it. So I don't know that I will finish it into an eyeglass case. I really have this urge to... To put it on its side like this even though then the date is stupid and um, make it into a little zipper pouch it's not really long enough for a lot of pens but well, maybe it is I don't know we'll have to see I guess it would be if I frame it with some fabric I don't know how I'm gonna finish it but it probably won't be an eyeglass case so my finishes Hooray! Finishes! I was strong in December. Guys, I had four finishes. I was like, finish all the things. So I did. Okay. I started some things, because you know I did. Um, Christmas Eve, after I finished my Peking Santa, I started the next prairie schooler santa that jill and i are doing together my stitch from stash buddy hey jill so we picked the next one we're kind of going by she doesn't have them all i have them all so we're just kind of going by what we like and what she has so this is oh i've been saying it's 2006 or something i don't know 2004 santa from the prairie schooler and isn't he cute? He has a little thread and embroidery hoop. Santa, you're so darn crafty. I love you. And I am stitching this on 18 count Fiddler's Ada. And two over one. And this is all that I got done because I only worked on it for not very long. Two days, I think. And Christmas, I don't think I stitched a lot on Christmas because it was Christmas. Let me see. Finish Peking Santa. 20, 24. Yeah, I only worked on it that night. Because oh, then after that, oh, because on the 25th was the 12 days of Stitchmas Stitch Along in Stitchmania. So anyway, this is my start. It's not very much. I don't know when I'm going to pick that up again. I don't have any immediate plans to stitch on that because I have other stuff. So, okay, so then on the 25th, Christmas Day, I picked up my 12 Days of Christmas from Plum Street Samplers. Um, it's a freebie on her blog. I will try to remember to link that below. And I wanted to work exclusively on this until January 1st. The stitch along went until January 5th, but exclusively from the 25th to through the 31st, I worked on this exclusively. And here's where I am at. 
So I finished the third day. That still needed some letters and maybe that snowflake and crown. I don't, I don't remember. And then I did the fourth day and the fifth day and then I got two trees done on the fifth day and I ran out of green. So I had to place an order to one, two, one, two, three stitch to get that floss. Ugh. Eh. I think I put my lips on the fabric and cat fur got on me. And it came. I ordered it before January 1st, stitch from stash. And then I might have thrown another chart in there to justify the shipping because that's what we do. So the fifth day. And then I finished the sixth day. And my goal for the stitch along was to get through the sixth day. So I'm just going to show you close up. Third day, I can't see anything. Fourth day. Fifth day. Sixth day. Um, I am using Gentle Art Cherry Wine for the red and Gentle Art Dried Thyme for the green. Gentle Art Straw, I think, for the gold, which there's very little of. Is it straw? No, gold leaf. Here it is. Gold leaf. And for the black, I am using, I picked two because I didn't realize I already had a black in here. And then I went to stitch some black and I'm like, hey, I don't have any black. What's going on? And then I went downstairs and got some more different black, and then I saw I already had one in here. Where is it? Onyx. Gentle Art Onyx. I bet you that's what this is, because it's out. But I didn't have enough of it, so I guess I'm glad I have two. So then I also have Weeks Dye Works and Gunmetal, and they're close enough. I'm just trying to, you know, they're close and all. So I did that. Oops, I need to put that back in there. Very excited to get that much done. I would love to get, actually have this done this year. We will see. Because I worked on that for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it bled over into January. Eight, nine, eight and a half days to get all that done. So I'm just putting that back in my bucket of whips. And then on the first, I also started uh, Old Stash New Start for Stitch from Stash and also New Year New Start for Stitch Mania. And I started this with Jill as well. Hi, Jill. I know I already said that. It's just fun to say it, especially if like your husband's walking by. We started the bird keeper from the good housewife. Good housewife, so excited. So I, oh, so the 12 days, I'm stitching that on a 25 count something. I don't know what it is. At one point I knew, when I started the project, I knew what it was anyway. So here we are. Here's where I got on Bird Keeper. I worked on this um, all of the first and all of the second before I went back to my 12 days because I hadn't, I think on the second is when I got my uh, floss from 123 Stitch. So that's why I went back to it. So here it is. I am doing this on a 36 count linen in vintage country mocha. And if you look, you can actually see the pattern on it. So I didn't stitch it on the back. It still makes me mad. Um, and I just worked on her cardigan and her little top underneath. And this, I'm pretty sure, is a hand holding something. I don't know. Jill, what is that? And I was really most excited about the bird. It's missing an eye. It's missing its eye. Do you see that? There's no eye. I would like to pick this back up again this month. Um, 
I have a couple other things that I'm doing first, so we'll see. Probably towards the end of the month, I might be able to get back to that, because I would really like to. Um, and then, yeah, so then I worked on 12 Days, and then I worked on my Peacock Feather, and I finished my Peacock Feather, and then I picked up, that is the thing for it, I picked up my Welcome Sal again from Tempting Tangles, Tempting, Tempting Tangles. Um, so I only had, I had the first five done. So that's this whole top row and then the W is the last time you saw it. That's all I had done. So last night and then this morning I have worked on clues six and seven, which are right here. Um, I finished all the stitching and now I'm just working on the back stitch in those teeny tiny X's. So I hope to have a whole second line, which is clues six through eight, done maybe by tomorrow. Maybe today, because I decided I'm not, I was going to grocery shop and run errands this morning, but I don't feel like it, because I spent all of Friday running errands and grocery shopping, and it's already Monday, and I feel like I need to grocery shop again. That's stupid. I can just grocery shop tomorrow. I'm going to stay in and stitch, and maybe do some dishes, or maybe I'll just stitch. I deserve it. It's already 1030. I only have an hour and a half left, and Archer's going to be here. So yeah, that's that. I'm doing this as charted. It is on a 25 count even weave of some sort, of some nature, for something. In like a, a tan color. I like this except for I found a counting error in my C. It's one stitch too short, but you can't really tell. Can you tell? If you can tell, do not tell me. Um, and I didn't notice it until I was stitching like over here and I was counting up the rows and I was one row short and I'm like, I don't understand because I was comparing it to this one and it lines up perfectly. And, and it lines up perfectly with the C too. So I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, it's because this one's too short. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out with the end E, but I don't, th I think that it's, the, the vines make it so busy, you're just not going to notice, who the hell cares? And, oh, and part of these clues was like a stitch here and a stitch here, that ain't going to happen. That's just crazy pants. I am not, I just, maybe I need to master the pin stitch. So this is what I'm working on right now. I'm working on this, and then tomorrow is the 10th, and that is when the Clouds Factory Fabulous Women in History releases. Yay! So this is my cold coffee, excuse me. It's very cold, too. I just know it. Quite. But I need to start working on my water. Um, so in my last video, I had mentioned that I purchased the kit and then immediately, like two hours later, I emailed Ambra at Clouds Factory and I'm like, cancel my kit. I have those colors. I have a fabric like that. All I want is the PDF. And she emailed me back. I think the same day. And she was like, no problem. I'm going to go ahead and cancel your order, but re buy the PDF and that way I'll cancel everything because I'm worried that your PDF delivery will be messed up if I cancel this order and try to like you know half it it's like okay that's fine so like the next day I was like oh I need to reorder that PDF so I did and then wouldn't you know it on New Year's Eve I got a shipping notice for that damn kit oh I was so angry because it was like a hundred bucks almost, right? And I'm like, I, I don't need it. So I emailed her and I'm like, hey. <laughs> well, she had already charged my card on like December 2nd, the day that it released, which I didn't see because my statement came much later. So it's like, I've already paid for it. Fine. I'll just 
freaking keep it. I was so mad. But I said, now I have two PDFs and I need a refund for one of those. I haven't heard back. She's on my list of email today. But anyway, here it is. Here is Picture This Plus Whimsy. That is cute. I just, I want it. It's so purple. 32 count Belfast in Whimsy. I'm, I'm not going to put it on here. I've decided because I wanted my, I want mine to be a little bit different. I want mine to just be like fiber artsies where she talked about putting it on Daphne from under the sea fabrics. And I was like, Hey, that's a great idea. And why is this needle so big? You can't tell if that's big, but that looks, that needle is way too big. That's like an Ada needle. Dang it, Ombra. Does a really good job with her kits though. Oh my god. Look at that. I do love Clouds Factory kits when I want them. Oh look. Just fun colors. And that's just the DMC. That's that stupid Ada needle. Look. Oh, there's more white. Look at, oh, look, I can't see anything because I keep moving stuff around. It's how I roll. Look at those pretty weeks. I should use gas. Gas is my favorite. Look at those though. They're pretty. I mean, I'm not disappointed. You can't be disappointed with these kits. They're impeccably made. Expenses ex or expensive as F this year. I feel like I bought the kit. The only other kit from Claude's Factory I got was Magical Creature, not Magical Creatures. I'm sorry. Um, the Zodiac Sampler. It's my first really big cross stitch purchase when I got back into cross stitching, and it wasn't this expensive. It looks a lot bigger. Like the fabric, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just insane. Who knows? Whatever it is, I have the kit. And I'm really excited to get started um, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yes. But I want to finish that row for the welcome sales. So that's what I'm going to do. I need to keep that up here. Okay. So I also, obviously we're running right into haul, right? When I ordered my dried time for my 12 days of Christmas slash stitch miss stitch along I saw this chart it was from my wish list and um, it was on clearance when I see things on clearance at one two three stitch I get really worried especially if they're charts because I think mm, they're cleaning them out and I'm not going to be able to find that again And I don't, I should have looked to see if this was, I don't know. I was just worried I wasn't going to be able to get it. So, and shipping, it, it, shipping was still the same, so I got it. Carriage House Samplings, Adam and Eve, because you know me and Adam and Eve and my truly religious nature, none. But they're so pretty. And the tulips at the bottom, tulips are my favorite. And those swirls with the pears and the apples, maybe those are hearts. I guess they're hearts. They're just apples. Oh, look. I didn't notice all of the little animals in these trees. Do you see that? Look at this. So the serpent, because duh. This little bird, this little owl, this little squirrel, this little bird. Oh, aren't they cute? I'm going to start that never. But I have it. That's Lucy. She's snoring. Lucy! She sounds like she's dying over there. Okay, and then the other thing that I got, damn it, Tracy P. I have to preface this, showing you this, by saying that I remember when she bought this. She sent me a picture on IM, and I was like, no, you're crazy. Stop it. 
get some help. Apparently, I don't remember this, but it sounds totally like something I would do. I threatened to call her mother. I don't have her mother's number, nor do I believe her mother cares. But I apparently said that I was going to call her mom because she needed to stop. This one's better. Damn it, Tracy. So she started it. And she sent me a picture, and it was this. It was this stupid chevron pumpkin in this. Damn it. And I was like, I need that. So I got all four of the magazines that are in so far. I don't know how many blocks get released at once. Three, four, five. I don't know. I don't remember. Let me look. Thirty squares. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So four squares at a time get released. So she was going to do it as a quilt, and then she ended up doing a whole bunch and then the fabric was turned the wrong way and she was like F this noise and so she changed fabrics and now she's doing it over one and she loves it. I'm not doing a quilt size. I refuse. So I purchased and look I have other things. Oh no. I do only have there are other really cute things in here. A couple of them I might stitch. I really like, I really like that. Oh, the bell pull. So Miss Oso Crafty is doing that. I think she hates it. Like, she doesn't hate the piece, but like, she's totally over it. I actually looked for those after I saw her working on them, and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want those, but I probably don't. There are some pretty things, there are some pretty things in here. Now, a lot of things in here have a bit of a religious undertone to them, which makes me not like them. Not that I don't like the design, but I, other than Adam and Eve, I'm not a huge church person or religious person. It has nothing to do with church. It's that faith. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Do I have the chart for this? I do. Look at this. Gorgeous. So anyway, there. I thought I had there. There are other things in here that I may that I may stitch. I was getting to the fabric, so I ordered a very large piece of twenty-five count. Apparently, I am doing this over one. <laughs> <laughs> 25 count Lugana in vintage country mocha, which is a lot. Why am I undoing this? You don't really need to see this, but here, here is the fabric. It's a, I think this is a yard. Where are they? One. Yes. One yard. It's pretty big. Um, I don't. It's going to be really big. Even over one on 25 count, it's going to be pretty massive. I'm going to start that never. Damn it, Tracy. Have I said that? I've been so busy. I've been really bad about talking to people. Um, my social online social life has just died and I never really had much of an in-person social life. It's not true. But I'm not chatting with nearly as many people, Tracy included, who I'm pretty used to chatting with almost every day. But you know, people have stuff and I have stuff. But it's probably a good thing because Tracy's not doing Stitch from Stash and I apparently do whatever she does because she's the boss of me. Also, the boss of me is Olivia. I'm pretty sure it was Olivia that just bought this, right, Olivia? And I was like, oh, I need to write that down immediately, which I did. And then I bought it 
because look at these little stockings. That's not even the reason why I bought it, but look at them. They're so pretty. The reason why I bought it is because of this damn bird. Not with, I think that's French and I won't do that. Where is the English one? Though I like it in French, actually. Tis, it'll say tis the season, apparently. Yes, it's just, it's just in a chart. So here it is. I can't see. Uh, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh. I don't know that this is why I bought it. I think I bought it because Olivia had it. But there was that. And the stockings. Does Vana have these stockings? She just had some stockings hanging up. I don't remember if they're these ones or not, but I love them. And there's like, what, four or five? I don't know. Oh, that one, I'm not that great. And the, oh, the garden piece. This Christmas garden. Olivia, is that why you bought this? I don't even remember. Gorgeous. Stop it. Stop right now. And even this cute little guy, I don't even know what this is. Is it an ornament? I love everything in this. Except for that one where I was like, eh, I don't want Love it. I think that's it. Oh, I feel like I have stuff like, did you see my fabric of the month from Leslie? Probably not, because I think I got it a little later. Khaleesi? I don't know what that's a reference to. Game of Thrones? I don't know. I need to watch. I need to add that to my list. I got it. Um, it was very, very crazy vibrant in linen, so I actually got this in a 32 count Lugana. I don't know what I'm going to put on it, but it's pretty. I don't know. What else did I get? You saw my Chatelaine, right? A Chatelaine. My Adam and Eve. Yeah, I inserted a picture last time. I got I got that. Oh, I got Miss Christmas Eve ordered right before the holidays with her bead pack. Try to see it better this way. And some extra beads for something. I don't know what those are. And the water lilies. How gorgeous. Uh, I'll start that never. Those are needle minders. I showed you those last time. I have so much stuff to take downstairs. That's what I need to do when I'm done here. Um, Barbara Anna, I think I showed you. Quaker Christmas, I think I showed you. Did I show you my pumpkins and peacocks from The Good Housewife? Did I show you that? I don't remember. That was an Etsy purchase. That was like in November, I think. I probably showed that to you. I think that's it. I think those are all the things. So, I have so much stuff to take downstairs because I've been hoarding it, waiting for you guys. That's all I have. Glad you guys like to watch me fumble around. So, plans for the rest of the month. I'm going to finish that second line of the welcome sale. Guys, I haven't even started the freedom one. I joined the Tempting Tangles freedom sale. Have you seen that one? It's such a cute stitch along. I have, I just have no time. Oh, and then Garrett talked about a new Ships Manor one with like houses. Damn it, Garrett. Oh, this is for Santa. Anyway. The welcome stitch along. Uh, the first clue of um, the fabulous women in history from Cloud's Factory. I'm really get. I'm I'm so excited. I need to go pick some fabric for that because I really don't want to use the whimsy. So I have to do that. Uh, and then I'll probably go back to the bird keeper. Um, and that's pretty much it for January. That should keep me pretty busy. I have 
Two quilts to long arm. I, I have said this, like, since, I think, July. Um, a friend gave me two quilts of her mom's that are hand-pieced to long arm just because she wants them put together. And I have... I haven't had any time to be downstairs, and I actually got a letter from her yesterday because she also organizes our quilt retreats, and she's like, hey, have you long armed those quilts yet? And I had to call her and be like, no. Um, so I promised her those quilts this month. So there's going to be some sewing involved. I'm also like trying to make a list of projects, sewing projects, things that I really want to make this year. Um, project bags, I have a bunch like put together. Literally all I have to do is sew them together. I have so much, I have to clean out my area downstairs because it's a mess, but today I stitch. That's what's happening today. Today I'm stitching. So I'm glad we could catch up. I know I'm a little late with January update, but uh, that's all right. And we'll catch up again at the end of the month. Hopefully I will have lots of fun things to show you. Enjoy your January. Stay warm. Stay safe. Stay stitchy. And I'll catch you next time.